on this campus, the legends literally cement their handprints on the legacy just a few steps away from Bryant-Denny Stadium. This is the home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we see the number seven team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on the 18th ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Pollock. The give out of the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, and this off man, you got to do a better job blocking. And I tell you what, that's kind of been a theme throughout the season. They haven't been high powered. They haven't really figured out who they are yet, and they still got time. The season's not over yet, but this offense is still an identity mode. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. It's complete on the right side. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. They didn't quite get that. Looking for room, it's Young. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. And not great blocking up front. They're struggling to get the running game going. And tell you what. And he reels it in inside the 30. And they got the defense on that one. And they get it to the 29-yard line. Really nice play getting that first down. And listen, I know when a lot of people think about the Crimson Tide recently, they think about the success they've had at the quarterback position. A big reason why, though, those guys have been playing so well, they're throwing the NFL talent all over the field. And this dude right here, he could be the next first-round pick at the wide receiver position. And he'll run into the end zone. Touchdown, Bama! Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. You can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Oh, he's playing with fire, and he's picked off. Couldn't find much breathing room to return it, but the interception has this offense in business. They'll run play action, feeling some heat. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. Finds a man by himself. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. And that big gainer on the last one has been threatening from inside the 10. Thomas looking to fire. Unleashes to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. To the air on first down. 
He's going to let one fly down the middle. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. Here comes the offense on second down. I think for the quarterback, he's going to have to be so good with his eyes in this game. You're going up against one of the best defenses in the country. You've got to look guys off, especially when you're trying to throw to your primary target like he was on that last one. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. He's got it on the left. Touchdown time! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And that's his second receiving. They'll throw it on first down. He lobs one high down the left side. He's got it inside the 30. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. No midseason concentration laps here. Comes out throwing on first down. He lost it high and deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Touchdown, Bama! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. Thomas back to pass. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Wants to fire on second down. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. From the gun, the running back has it. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. There's a timeout on the field. Tight. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. From the gun, running back gets to give. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold, 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 up and up and up. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. And they're going to play it safe. Conservative approach here, but they'll take the knee and head... Looking to move it through the air. Still moving to his right, trying to make a big play. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, for this defense now, being good against the pass is not just going to be in the back end covering people. It's going to be trying to contain this guy at the quarterback position. He is lethal, especially when things go off script. You saw it on that first down, they got the pass play. You're not able to get him on the ground. Now they've gotten another first down. Thomas looking to fire. Steps away. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. Looking to throw for it. Catch in the middle. It's Hamilton. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. This Alabama offense is clicking. They're set up with another first down. Wide receiver coming across in motion.
He's going to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Klein getting set on second down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. That's why the ball falls in. Snap from the gun on third down. On the run, fires downfield. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And they got him for the sack. And this offense has done such a good job protecting their dude at quarterback, but the defense finally gets home. Listen, that's their third sack in two weeks. They got to do a better job applying pressure on the quarterback. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking to the big tight end. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The inside handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TF out. Cross the 30 to the 35, and that's a gain of six. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Thomas back to pass. Fires to the right. Makes the grab. They bring him down. He's got a first down, but that might be the final play of the third quarter. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. They'll keep it on the ground. Plows through the defense. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? You've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. That pickup might be best measured in inches rather than yards. Not a lot of running room there. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through. And it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. Didn't get a chance to show off those running skills. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Coming after him. Grabbed in the middle. It's Williams. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. So this offense with an opportunity to put this game in a hammer lock if they can score and bleed the clock. Quarterback moving. And down goes the quarterback. There are penalty flags down, but it looks oh, as if oh, this oh, might oh, be oh, on oh, the oh. offense. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. On first and goal, let's see if Alabama can get it in the end zone. Thomas looking to fire. Escapes the pressure to his right. And he scurries out of bounds and wisely avoids taking the big hit. Nice job by the D. Playing the pass first. QB scrambles. It's the fourth quarter. I got to save time. I got to save possessions. What do I do to end the run? Now I push the quarterback out of bounds. He goes out of bounds. Thank you. I didn't even have to waste the timeout. Nice job by the D. On third and goal, they'll throw it. 
And the defense holds firm. No pickup yet. Using his legs, it's Young. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Peters running wide open down the gut of the field. Touchdown, Alabama! And they take it in for six more points. Boy, do they need that score. Gave them a little cushion as they try to put a stop to this two-game slide. When you've got a losing skid, there's nothing like some good old home cooking. They came back home, and they have played an outstanding game. And let's give this crowd a helmet sticker. They've been so loud. The give to the back. You want to talk about running behind your pads as he plows his way to the 35. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Give to the back. Running with power. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Pressure coming. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Hand off from the gun. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. Listen, you, you gotta be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Alabama comes to the line with first and ten. Use the play fake now to throw. Let's it fly. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Leaves it with the back. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Now the play fake. Outside the pocket, let's it go. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. And they'll take a knee on fourth down, happy with their performance so far, and they'll turn it over in the waning moments. All business today for this ball club. They come out and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you 